video and this is my first video on YouTube and this is a game I played over the weekend I was playing back and my opponent was rated uh, my, my opponent was rated 1700 and I was in the 1600 so uh, he kicked off with a uh, d4 knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 bishop g7 e4 seeing that in the king's india d6 f3 the Zamish variation with the king's india castle bishop b3 c5 well this move is quite an interesting move because uh, as, as we know king's indian is played to attack on the king's side but here c5 signals and I take on the queen side, so we shall see what happens in the game. Knight g2, queen a5. Well, now we still are starting to see some signal of queen side play from black. Queen g2, knight c6, castles queen side. Well, th this pawn is the most advanced pawn in my position, so. I can gain spin. I can gain space on the queen side, and my opponent just castle on the queen side, which is a li which is a little bit dubious for him to castle on the queen side. At least like knight c1, and then bishop e2, and then castle king side would, would be better. But he castle queen side anyway. So knight b knight d knight b4, going for the h2. King B1, maybe a th B3 was better. Protecting the pawn with the queen, but he played King B1, which is quite dubious as well. So I played B5. Now starting to get some space uh, in the queen side. Where my bo where my most pawn, where my uh, most advanced pawn is. He uh, took the pawn. Now. I've just sacrificed the pawn to uh, to open some lands to his king. Oh, sorry, to open some lands to his king, and also this bishop can also come into play, and this knight can work well with the queen and the rook as well. So. Uh, after bishop times a6, he played a3, trying to chase away the knight, but it was too late. Bishop check, king c1 was played, or maybe let's look at other possibilities, except from giving up the queen. Mm. King a1. The fruit says check if it goes back to B1 and then it's all over, or check it, it comes to A2 and uh, fruit says queen takes A3. If B, B takes A3 and then I got the check, then check, check. Ooh, I want a combination. Well, let's go back to the initial position. So my op my opening played King c1 instead of king a1. So I played rook f g8, rook, rook f b8, bring the, 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 the last rook into attack, and also hitting the b2 witness, which was cre created by playing the a, the a pawn to a3. To so from, from here, he took the C5 pawn, which I thought was uh, the mistake which caused in the game, because it allows uh, the beautiful 
knight sacrifice to rip open this diagona for the bishop. He can the a, the a a one a sorry a two pawn or weakness. So why there's two possibilities here? Why to capture with the with the pawn or to capture with the knight? If he captures with the knight, well, this may. So he captured with the with the pawn. I played knight a to check. He took the knight. Now, what? Both the the rook and the bishop are hitting the a two weakness. So check the queen has to take the bishop because it, it will be made. And then here, my opponent played uh, king takes and then I played queen. Then it was all over. So let's look at the game in overview summary. So d4, knight f6, c4, c6, bishop g7, e4, d6, cf3, pass turn. So you're all wondering if he takes here, if he takes the pawn, well, I have, uh, I take the pawn, and then, well, Fritz says black is, is better here, because I've, because I've got plans, knight chasing away the bishop. So, open this diagonal for my bishop and, uh, and later queen for b5. So, that's why he didn't take the c5 pawn. He didn't want to get in, into any complicated variations. So, after queen a5, queen d2, knight c6, castle. I think. The castle was a blunder. I think it was a decisive move of the game. Yeah. And also here, this could have been better. I think. Yeah, just protecting with the queen and knight. Maybe b4. My plan was still have. Then this better, absolutely better for with a little advantage for for black. But once I well, this check. Let me see. There's a check there, and there is a. Then I take. Take take and take oh I got that last time. So So after Queen A five he played the castle so he didn't play B three he played King King V one B five now these lines are now open. A three check. Can see one was played. Rook. A rook one. The purpose of this move was to to later combine with this bi with this bishop to to hit the b two pawn. This was the last move my opponent played without being forced. Yeah, he took. Now all of the all of the moves from here are, are now forced. So the queen has to take, the king has to take, the queen must take. Check. Well, that was my first video on YouTube. Please leave any comments on YouTube. Thanks very much.